I know the pH concept has been giving you a lot of talk time, but in today's video lesson, I'll be solving this problem that explains the pH concept. Now, the question says, determine the pH of a 0.00005 molar solution calcium hydroxide. First, to solve this question, we need to check the nature of the compound, if the compound is an acid or a base. Now, you can see that this compound is a base, okay? The compound is, is a base and it is called calcium hydroxide, okay? Calcium hydroxide. Now, since the question says determine pH, but the compound is a base, what we are to determine is the pOH. Remember, in my previous video, I said pH is associated with acid, whereby pOH is associated with base. So, since this compound is a base, we are to look for pOH instead of pH. After getting the pOH, we then convert the value to the pH. The compound is a base. Now, first thing first. First thing first, now recall the formula for solving POH, which is POH is equal to negative log reading into the base 10 of hydroxide ion concentration. Now, if we check carefully, the hydroxide ion concentration in this question is not given. They gave us the full concentration of the compound, which is this. So, we use another alternative formula. To get your hydroxide ion concentration, we simply say concentration, which is the concentration of the full compound, times acidity. Recall, acid possess basicity of acid, whereby base now have acidity of a base. What is basicity of an acid? Number of replaceable hydrogen ion in one molecule of an acid. But acidity of a base is number of replaceable hydroxide ion concentration in one molecule of a base. Now, in this context, you can see the compound C, which is calcium hydroxide. Dissociating it, we get the calcium ion plus 2OH minus. The equation is balanced. Now, you can see now we've gotten that the acidity, this compound now, is it monoacidic or diacidic? It is diacidic because it possesses two hydroxide ion concentration. So you say it is diacidic. So basically it is two. So the acidity becomes what? Two. Now let's go ahead and get the hydroxide ion concentration. The concentration of the full compound is 0 0.0005. Times the acidity, which is what? Two. So basically, we've got in the equation for the hydroxide ion concentration. So basically, we compute it here. So basically, POH will now become negative log reading into 0 0.00005 times 2. So basically, POH, when we press the calculator, becomes 4. Now, we say when you are given a base, you get POH. But now the question says calculate pH. So basically, converting pOH to pH using a very important equation, which is pH plus pOH is equal to 40. So basically, what is the pOH? We've gotten it to be 4 is equal to 40. So pH now because of 14 minus 4, we now get 10 as the pH. So basically, this is how to solve problems on the pH concept. Do well to subscribe to this video and also share with your friends. Thanks for watching.